On today's episode, we're going to create this cool, trendy trailing images effect that you're seeing in all the new award winning website with Webflow. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Ron Segal here. What's up and welcome back to another Webflow Weekly. I would say Webflow Weekly, but we we're not regularly posting these Webflow videos. But today, recently we've shown a lot of kind of award-winning websites that were using this trailing image effect. And I wanted to show you how simple it is to actually use it within Webflow. So the first thing that you'd want to know about all these cool effects is that a lot of them are coming from this website, which is called Cod Drops. They're basically giving here the script and a lot of people are using them. And so you'll see these kind of effects trending. So that's what we did. We actually took the code from here and we've used it within a Webflow website. And here's the result. Basically, it looks just the same. And let me actually start from the end. We've created a clonable project here in Webflow. So you can check out the link in the description. You can just go ahead and clone this. But let me go ahead and show you actually how to use this yourself. So here's what we did basically. And Bob did this, Bob from the Flux Academy team. He's a genius with reusing these scripts within Webflow. So here's basically what he did. He took the scripts from the Code Drops website and he uploaded them here as text files. So this is basically how we're uploading our own scripts into Webflow. We're calling them text files. Again, if you'll clone the project, you don't have to do this yourself, but that's what we did. And then here in the page, in the custom code area, he he added a little bit of a style, a little bit of a custom CSS style. And then here's the JavaScript that is being called here. So how do you actually use this? Well, all you need is to have kind of this, this structure, which is a section and then inside um, a wrapper and then inside of it, a content that is called content that is important. And then you just throw in your images and you just make sure that you give them the class of content underscore underscore images okay so you just drop them here one on top of the other and the css here as you can see is going to go back look for all of these content images and then you know apply the effect on them like hide them and then just show them according to where your mouth is so this is it all you do is make sure that you maintain this structure and this class effect and the effect will work on your website. So I hope you find this useful. You can clone this on project and use it. Do not overdo this because this effect is now all over the place. So make sure you're using it in a smart, creative way. Um, and also make sure that you revisit code drops. It's really cool website to see kind of an experimental code. And as you've seen, it's not that difficult to put them inside of you know, of Webflow. Um, however, if you're not sure about how to use custom code and all that stuff, that's obviously not super necessary when you're using uh, Webflow. You can create a lot of these effects if you're using the Webflow's native interactions creatively. And so let me know what you thought about this video. If you're not sure if you want to dive into Webflow or not, make sure we have a free training also linked below this video um, where I'm sharing how it made a difference in my freelance business as a web designer. So make sure you check that out and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.